Engineering videos and technical solutions, BTEC and master engineering thesis guidance, simulation of projects using different software such as MATLAB, PVSYS, Helioscope, ETAP, and many more. Detailed videos on these topics and much more available software such as AutoCAD, Revit, and SketchUp. Be part of our family by subscribing to our YouTube channel, follow us on Instagram, like our Facebook page, and visit our website. PZ Engineering. Passion to excel. Regenerative braking system is a process to recover, store, and reuse some of the vehicle braking energy to improve the fuel efficiency or boost the range of electrical or hybrid vehicles. The energy store can be batteries, ultra capacitor or super capacitor, flywheels, and hydraulics accumulators. The electrical motor in your hybrid or electrical car runs in two directions, one to drive the wheel or to move the car, and the other to recharge the battery. The battery will discharge during the acceleration, and during the braking, the battery will charge. Hi, welcome to the PZ Engineering channel. In this video, we are going to show how to simulate bidirectional voltage source inverter as a regenerative braking converter for brushless DC motor and analysis on the plug and plug-in electrical vehicle application. This paper is available online. As you see, you can see the author is there and you can download in our description below as a reference. As you can see, this is our plug-in electrical vehicle, hybrid electrical vehicle. We have our engine a generator. We have our inverter, bidirectional inverter. We have our battery pack. We have our motor and of our wheels. Before we start with our simulation, I would like to request please be part of our family by subscribing to our channel, share our contents, comment and like this video. You can as well donate through our PayPal in the description below for us to continue uploading videos or doing more videos like this and you can as well join our membership team. With limited distance covered by plug-in hybrid electrical vehicle, which is caused by the limited capacity of the battery, the energy consumption of the battery can be reduced by recovering the energy wasted during the braking using the regenerative braking method. By applying this, it will increase the battery efficiency while providing vehicle the acceleration or acceleration. This simulation uses a bidirectional voltage source as inverters. The motor torque is controlled and energy can be recovered to charge the battery. This is our equivalent circuit of our brushless DC motor being supplied through a VSI. We have our gates and then the three faces going to the motor and we have our sources there this is our the formula that was used to calculate the torque as I say you can download the paper for a reference in the description below All of this you can find it there. We have our operation of the system doing the regenerative mode. Those are the theory. These are the, the timing and the acceleration mode. You can get, as I say, you can download this paper. And here the flow current direction during regenerate stating mode. As you can see the flow, the current will be in this direction. And here we have our operation during the acceleration, which is the in discharge mode. 
That's the direction of thing. Here we have our regenerate plugging mode. Common time regenerate plugging mode is the switch and is the direction of the of the currents during charging and discharging. We have our now we can go to our MATLAB model to run our model. This is our model in MATLAB Simulink software. I'll be introducing each component. And we can find all the components in our library browser. Here we have our lithium ion battery. Those are the parameters, 48 voltage, 80 rated capacity. Here we have our capacitor. And we have our inverter, which is, we use universal bridge, these are the parameters. And we have our torque, our gate. And we have a brushless DC machine. These are the parameters. When we use tra trapezoidal vacuum waveform is brushless. In case if you wanna be a permanent magnet synchronized machine, we can change to a solid so sinusoidal. Those are the parameters. You can follow it. Here we have our torque input, the torque which influences the speed of our motor. The higher the, the, the torque, the less the, the speed, the less the torque, the higher the speed. So our torque that is our input in, the, in our, our brushless DC machine. Here we have our control. Let's open it. Here we have our great, our great pulse, current controller, and speed controller. We have our current ABC, and we have our reference speed, and as well as uh, actual speed. And we have our sensors. As you can see, we have our reference speed. Let's open our speed controller. We have our speed and our reference speed. And we have our PI controller. Here we have our inputs to the current controller. We have our current A, B, C. Yeah, we have our relay parameters. We have our convert. We have our logical operator, not, and our convert. Here yeah, we have our gate pulse that triggers our inverter. We have our Record it all. Those are the, the parameters as in the, uh, our logical operator and convert. Please don't forget to subscribe to the channel, share our contents, comment, and like this video. If our gate that triggers our 
inverta a bidirectional inverta if our speed our measurements now we can run our system to see the behavior of our system please once again don't forget to subscribe the channel share our contents comment and like this video or you can as well join our membership team or you can den de donate to our channel for us to continue uploading videos making videos and improve our qualities Now let's check our results. Let's open the battery parameters, our state of charge current and the voltage of the bathing. As you can see from here, you have our actual speed, you have our torque, and we have the we have our actual speed. As you can see, during acceleration. The battery discharge during a braking the acceleration the battery charges and when this constant is constant and when doing acceler acceleration when the speed increase the battery discharge when it's supplying and when the the car breaks the battery charge can see here we have our current state of current and you say the bit again thank you so much for watching this video please don't forget to subscribe the channel share our contents comment and like this video and as well can then donate to our channel so that they can continue uploading and improving our service. Thank you.